Hello, this is a quick video for the developers and anyone else that is interested in, in listening about parent loaders that have been changed in 1.13 compared to 1.12. This is a world, a test world made by Earth Computer. In, this is just a, a parent loader concept that has been developed by, or shown first by Nembon. Uh, I'll link the description what the parent loaders are. Players use it. There has been multiple player uh, servers that have been using this concept. It's something that has been used to permanently load some chunks and using the mechanics that are existing in the game uh, by using hash maps. And uh, it's very readily um, common knowledge by now. So the servers such as uh, Sidecraft, Prototech, Dugged, um, and single players such as Nembon, that are, that are familiar to me at least, use it right now. And it will be a shame to see it go on 13. It's it's really good because uh, you can control which chunks that are loaded in the world. So it, if you move it out of an area, it, stuff doesn't stop working all of a sudden. So what was changed in 13? There is this one line of code. And I think Nemban also made a video about the exact changes and how the hash map changes impact the uh, the different ways that the chunks can unload and how the changes impact the game uh, in general. So this is the 12 uh, code, Minecraft 12.0 code, and this is 13.0 uh, code, so this is the new code. The only difference is that the 13 code uses a long open hash set compared to a new hash set. So the hash map is just a very small, subtle change that completely ruins the way that, hash, uh, that chunk loading works. So just just for reference, um, when does this hash map get used? Uh, it's used when the autosave comes along every 900 game takes, so it's like one for, once every 45 seconds. It's completely insignificant. It shouldn't, uh, the autosaves are barely noticeable. You, should, you barely notice any lag in 13 when autosaves come. Uh, so the other time that actually this might happen is when players log in and out using portals or, or move around and such. I particularly looked at when players log in and out because that's mostly when this particular hash is being emptied and filled. So I simulated a, uh, a simple, mm, I, I just basically wrote a script here just to benchmark the, the difference between the two hash maps. So how, uh, how does the new hash map fare to the old one? And what I'm do doing here is I'm doing a, a benchmark. I'm looping, I'm doing, uh, what? What, 10,000 loops and filling these hash maps with random chunks and emptying them as if the player were to log in an, in an area and uh, creating about 1,000 uh, chunks that has to be filled into these uh, in, into these lists and then I'm uh, uh, afterwards emptying them the same way that they are being emptied and then I'm taking the results and after 10,000 loops I'm printing out the results and how many seconds or how many milliseconds uh, the difference between the two are and the, the percentage difference. So I ran the test here previously and we can see here in the console that it took exactly 62,000 nanoseconds versus 46,000 nanoseconds and so on. And here is it shows that the new hash map is about 30% faster in this test. The next loop it's about 80%, the next one is 10%, 10%, 10%. So I would say roughly 10% faster because after a while it just evens out to about 10% faster. So a 10% improvement on the new hash map is absolutely insignificant because we're talking about something like 0 0.0001 second or something. So um, in general, I would say that the new hash map is not faster. It is probably better to use the new hash map as in the most purest uh, algorithmic sense, but it just doesn't make sense to change it because what it happens is that it, it totally destroys the permaloaders that are being now built in Sidecraft and other servers. It's kind of a shame to see this mechanic go because of a uh, simple line of change that is completely unnecessary, in my opinion. Um, this line of code could have just stayed and had barely any impact on performance. So hopefully this change wasn't done to remove permaloaders out of Minecraft. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't. It's not exactly a mechanic that is destructive. So I'm hoping that the developers can see this and change the hash map back to the old one. So we can actually play around with these cool mechanics such as permaloaders. Uh,
that was that. Hope, um, hope this hash map gets changed back to the old one. Bye.